Hello everybody, welcome back to The Sims 2 with me, T Attic. Today we are in Blue Water Village and this is another of my renovations of the Blue Water Village houses slash Pleasant View houses for my Pleasant View Super Series. And you will notice that today we are in the Tinker household. I was inspired to do this after hanging out in Danielle's stream, uh, Dramatisim, if you know her, Whitey28 she used to be. Um, after, yeah, she was renovating this on her stream and I was like, dude, I really need to renovate this house too. So I decided to do that this week. So the Tinkers, uh, these guys have been struggling with money for pretty much our whole series. Um, and I picked up a good tip off of Danielle, which was to sell their fence and all of their super expensive furniture to fund a renovation. So I did that um, and we ended up with a budget of like 25,000 simoleons which was pretty pretty nice so yeah uh, anyway let me focus on what I'm actually doing here. So the first thing I did was yeah sell a bunch of their stuff, remove a bunch of their furniture and I also decided to remove the two extra rooms that I had built on on the top of the lot on the top of the garage because when I looked at the house it just looked too long. <laughs> it just looked too long. It looked disproportioned and so I decided to call a mulligan on those rooms above the garage and instead I divided Melody's old room into two. Melody is a very, you know, strong, independent woman. I don't think she's going to be moving back home with her parents. She's been working, you know, fending for herself the whole time she's been at college at Fiesta, La Fiesta Tech. And I think she will, you know, uh, do her thing, continue to grind to earn cash rather than move back in with her mum and dad, who used to drive her a little bit nuts. So, yeah, those two rooms that were on top of the garage uh, from a renovation that I did earlier in the Pleasant View series are now gone and I've replaced it just with a normal roof, as you will see here. Now for this renovation, I decided to pick a color palette to work with. I have been doing this a lot lately uh, on my Twitch channel, which by the way, you should totally follow me on Twitch if you're not, because we have a ton of fun on Twitch doing live streams in The Sims 2. But yeah, so on Twitch, we've started a build a city challenge and it's being made up of Sim selves of the people who watch my streams and are part of my community. And each Sim self or each, you know, real person had the opportunity to choose for themselves a bright and beautiful color palette for me to design and decorate their home based around. Around. and it's been so much fun we've been using these color palettes from design seeds so I thought for this renovation of the Tinker household I would go ahead and pick a color palette once more which I've popped down now in that uh, bottom left hand corner so you'll be able to see the kind of inspiration for the house that I had and you'll notice that it's a lot of bright and beautiful colors as well as that sort of dark gray purpley gray color which I wanted to offset all the other bright colors but I do see the Tinkers as quite a bright beautiful colorful quirky uh, and happy family. Um, I really wanted to go all out with their house in terms of bright colors and the other thing I really wanted to do with this house was clutter. I wanted to have lots and lots of clutter because I kind of see the Tinkers as a little bit chaotic which is maybe why Melody didn't really jive with her parents that well because she's the opposite of chaotic but I feel like Steven and Wanda are a little bit chaotic just in their personalities. Neither of them are particularly messy. I did actually go in at one point and check their actual personalities, but I do think this house is always just, yeah, a little bit of chaos. And I kind of do want them to have a lot more kids as well and maybe adopt some more kids as well, uh, which, and just, yeah, completely turn their house into as I said, utter chaos. So I wanted to do a lot of cluttering of the house and I definitely succeeded with the kitchen, but the other rooms kind of got less and less and less cluttered as I went on because I started to run out of money. <laughs> but yeah, so you can kind of see me redecorating here. I went with this beautiful yellow clapboard for the outside based on the yellow in the color palette, mixed in with some green uh, balustrades and stuff around their front porch and their back porch. Uh, and yeah, that sort of like dark gray purpley tone for the pavement and also the brick foundation. Um, I did go ahead and put a new fence around their lot for them, which did set us back quite a bit of money. So, you know, that was quite an, inve an investment. And if I wanted to save a bit of coin, I could go ahead and delete that fence, but it wasn't nearly as expensive as the old fence, which was around their lot, which was the wrought iron fence. Uh, so yeah, that one got us a lot of money. Yeah, so here I'm just redoing the garage real quickly, just uh, repaving it and doing all that kind of thing. And then, uh, yeah, so we're going to move into the inside of the lot now. I'm going to get rid of a lot of the floors. Um, I did like that sort of black carpet. I thought that carpet was very close to the, that dark color in the in the palette. So I decided to go with black carpets in most of the rooms. And then for the main uh, entryway here, I went with some of these like peachy orange toned floorboards, which I thought was really fun. Uh, 
big big bright color you know it was it was very pretty it was very very happy and uh, that was something that I wanted their house to be as I've mentioned already so I'm gonna stop saying that now this upstairs bathroom was originally a 2x4 and I just hate a 2x4 size room I think it's just too small so I decided to bring that wall out by a tile and kind of make it look like it's supported from underneath with the uh, with the pillars on that balustrade so the bathroom is now one tile larger and it made a, a good difference I think it just gave us that little bit extra room to play with because this is a big family home um, and I wanted them to have a big family bathroom essentially and then downstairs that small room there uh, I kind of transform into a laundry it still does have a, a downstairs toilet in it so if you need to use the toilet you can but otherwise it has been transformed into a laundry with a washer and a dryer the upstairs bathroom I went with these beautiful color pop tiles which are converted from the sims 4 and I found that combination of like the peach and yellow which I thought was perfect um, and really encapsulated those two colors from the palette really nicely again bright colorful just what I wanted so yeah the family bathroom is now that kind of <laughs> yellow and, and peach uh, and it looks really nice I'm really happy with how that turned out but we'll, we'll get to that in due time um, now the room that was the gym I eventually go ahead and sell their old exercise equipment and that room is blank that room there that you can see is a really small little nursery and the other room is uh, Friedrich's room they have a son Friedrich and they also have a daughter who we've named Zendaya um, and so yeah those that's how we divided up Melody's room over in that corner. And then Steven and Wanda's room, I wanted to do something fun. I originally had sort of like a wallpaper feature wall and then was trying to find a matching paint for the other walls. And I really struggled with this room right up until, I'll be honest, I was taking the screenshots. And then when I was taking the screenshots, I made another change uh, to, the, to the decor in that room. But yeah, I end up, <laughs> for most of this, it's just painted that kind of minty, tealy green color. Um, and then downstairs I w ended up going with yellow as the main color once more similar to the upstairs sort of hallway and landing but I do end up going with a bit of wainscoting as well which we'll see here in a minute um, it's a very high sort of paneling um, with with a little bit of yellow on top when I eventually pick it out you can see how long it took me to <laughs> see how long it took me to pick out what wallpaper I wanted to use in this downstairs area my goodness <laughs> and in the living room as well one day I'll get to it. I should have probably cut out some of this wallpaper choosing. Um, again, in the living room, I do go with this kind of peachy, peachy tone um, and just change out the archway and we get rid of their mission furniture and replace it with stuff that's a little bit cheaper, but the benefit of having cheaper furniture is that you can have more furniture. <laughs> there it is. Finally, I've got that yellow with the high paneling, <laughs> which is what that ends up staying as. And then this room over here, which is the formal dining room, I did keep as a formal dining room. It could easily be transformed into an extra bedroom if need be, but I got really inspired with that room. Uh, so I'll talk about that a bit more when we're actually decorating it. But it ends up being one of my favorite rooms in the house, uh, let's just say. The kitchen originally had all these mission cabinets this whole house basically was decorated with the mission set which came with open for business um, and I went through all of the recolors seeing if there was anything that I liked but there wasn't uh, I didn't have any recolors that matched my palette so I ended up getting rid of all their mission cabinets um, I fill around with the placement of the fridge and the stove a bit and I end up picking the Bayside set which is a conversion from The Sims 3 that I'm pretty sure Varanka converted I could be wrong I hope I'm not, but yeah, it's, it's the Bayside set and I have a lot of fun recolors for that one. So again, I spent ages trying to pick out a color for the kitchen. Originally, I had it in the sort of minty teal color that you can see there in the palette, but um, I, I took a break because I had to take care of the baby. And when I came back to continue doing this reno, um, I saw all the green and I was kind of not loving it. So I actually end up changing this here in a minute, which we will see. But one thing I love about the Bayside kitchen is that it's such a complete set. It comes with so much. It comes with all these beautiful upper cabinets, including one that goes uh, in the corner, which is very nice. It comes with this really cool plate rack, um, as well as this like shelf. And I don't know, it's just, it's a really, really nice kitchen set and I always want to use it and then I always end up switching it out so this time I was determined to actually leave it in there and use it uh, but yeah so this is I think after I've taken my break and I end up going at, ahead and deciding to recolor the whole kitchen in that kind of peach peachy color which I thought looked a lot warmer and happier and just was a little bit nicer and then as for the actual walls I end up changing them out for a bit of a tile 
uh, with uh, some yellow on top of the tile which I've got now there uh, which you can kind of see and I thought that looked quite cute and then um, yeah so we keep our coffee machine in here and then as I mentioned I wanted to go really bunter with cluttering and detailing uh, so in a minute here we're gonna start working on that oh yeah but first I'm picking out some bar stools we do yeah we have this nice little like bar uh, wrap around that comes out here so I do pop a couple of bar stools in that corner one I wasn't happy with because you can kind of see inside to where the oven sits so I decided to put a little half wall there and replace that with a normal counter and that worked quite well uh, yeah here we go so I'm starting to pick out some some clutter here oh yeah and putting in a stove hood always a good idea because I'm sure the tinkers I don't think either of them are a particularly good cook but uh, in my in my imagination as I was decorating this kitchen I was kind of thinking that maybe Wanda um, wants to be a good cook and she tries really hard and she's kind of into baking more than actually cooking so um, yeah I wanted to put a lot of clutter in to make it look like this kitchen is well used <laughs> um, so there's a lot of little pots and, and teapots and jars and spices and dishcloths and all kinds of things that I end up pulling out to decorate this kitchen with and this was very much inspired like this level of clutter was very much inspired by Kaylee 83 and if you're not following Kaylee 83 Kaylee 83 on YouTube you should be because her builds are just next level absolutely incredible and her ability to clutter and decorate is beyond like second to none I have just I'm so impressed by her builds every time she has her downloads folder is pretty much exclusively sims 4 to 2 conversions which is a bit different to how I like to build and decorate but it is very inspiring and um yeah she tends to go all out when, when she does lots in terms of clutter um, even more than I do and I've really been inspired watching her builds to just up my game with that so this is a kind of a little bit of a taste of a, a Kaylee 83 style kitchen uh, a la tea at it <laughs> like the best the best I could do uh, which definitely I don't think it looks as good as her kitchens usually do but I really tried uh, and I had a lot of fun and I had a lot of fun putting teapots and um, yeah just just lots of things on the benches uh, because you know what in real kitchens there are always a lot of stuff on the benches in our kitchen there certainly is at the moment now because we've got a baby on the bench there's you know like all of his bottle feeding stuff and there's a sterilizer and there's the bottle warmer then we've got the kettle we've got the toaster like we've got a sandwich press like our benches are always covered in crap um, often there's like you know a loaf of bread sitting out or oven trays or yeah so I just and lots of tea boxes as well obviously lots and lots of tea boxes next to the coffee machine so yeah you can see me here just kind of really trying to squeeze as much in as I possibly could um, putting some lunch boxes in that I'm imagining that Wanda's packing for her kids uh, yeah I don't know it was it was a lot of fun and obviously with all these bright and beautiful colors just really made me happy really made me feel like this room was a room that is very well used and loved um, but yeah so unfortunately while I went all out with the kitchen I started to run low on money <laughs> for the rest of the house so the kitchen is as cluttered as I want the whole house to be the rest of the house is is still gonna be a bit of a work in progress because I just didn't have the budget unfortunately to to clutter up the rest of the house as much as I, <laughs> as much as I wanted to which is ridiculous uh, really when you think about it but yeah, I even, I even put some stuff there on top of the fridge using the shift everything mod. So I put a little KitchenAid mixer up there and kind of a nice little cake dish as well, which I thought was quite cute. And then this room here, I decided to go ahead and put in a, a another dining table. So yeah, the room off to the side is the formal dining room. This is the casual dining room. This is the one they use all the time, every day. This is where they have 90% of their meals. So um, yeah, just, just again, going with some clutter here by the door, I put in an umbrella rack and then I wanted to put in a bunch of shoes as well to make it look like yeah people in the Tinker house just kind of tend to kick their shoes off in the doorway and kind of leave them there um, which I thought looked quite nice and then the phone on the wall there I decided to uh, change that and put it on a little coffee coffee table instead the piano does stay there too um, so yeah we've got a little phone book and a phone we've got like a pot plant I think I also put a, a bag like a handbag on there as well just again trying to clutter it up trying to really make this place look lived in and and well used and 
yeah, I was happy with how it was turning out until I started to run out of money. <laughs> Temp I was tempted to leave the piano painted green, but ended up changing it back to brown. My mum once painted a piano uh, green and blue. I'll see if I can find a picture of it somewhere and, and pop it in here because it was pretty wild. Uh, so if you think no one had ever painted a piano, you're wrong. My mother would. <laughs> but I changed it back to brown in the end anyway. Uh, but yeah, so just just again and oh and the other thing I wanted to put everywhere was toys I didn't end up putting as many toys around as I wanted to but I will add, slowly add more to the house because of course the Tinkers are running a toy store which I thought would make sense uh, but yeah so I thought about putting a game table here and then I was like no you know what I am I'm gonna make this a, a dining room table I'm gonna make this the table that as I said yeah that is their main main table and that room over there in my head is called the good room and that is a reference to good old Kath and Kim uh, which is an Australian TV show which is absolutely legendary they have a living room which is called the good room um, and another thing I was thinking of was another Australian classic called the castle uh, where they have the pool room and the pool room is like the good room and if something's good it goes straight to the pool room uh, so yeah this is the Sorry, oh yeah, I'm playing around with mess. Oh yeah, no, I end up getting rid of that. Yeah, this is the everyday informal dining room and the other one is, is the good room. So we'll get to decorating that in a minute. Um, was playing around with colors a bit here, but I decided to leave most of it just wooden. And then yeah, so in here, in this room was the only room where I ended up uh, replacing some of their more expensive furniture. I put in this huge glass table um, and I put in these sort of bougie SDA uh, <laughs> chairs. So this room, I, while it's called the good room, I don't mean that it's actually stylish. Um, I feel like it's got some old furniture that maybe they inherited from like Stephen or Wanda's mother and um, they can't bring themselves to get rid of it. They think it's very nice and very classy, but actually it's kind of a bit a bit too much. It's a bit heavy. It's a bit gaudy. Um, that was kind of the vibe I was going for with the, the table and chairs and definitely the carpet, which you can see there is quite gaudy. And then I wanted to put some china cabinets in here too. So I have that one there, which comes with uh, all that deco already placed on it, which is really nice. And then I also have one that is slave to the kitchen, uh, the country seasons kitchen. Um, which is really nice as well and you can sort of add a yeah pair of china cabinet with a dresser there as you see I have done and um, yeah just decorated that with a little bit of extra china and a little bit of extra finery and I end up switching those two around so uh, one's there and the other one's over in the other spot um, found that sims 4 to 2 conversion thought oh perfect for this house and put it over there as well and then yeah up here I just put one nice ish expensive ish painting uh, so yeah this is where all their good furniture is it's all in the good room so I imagine that you know the kids are kind of banned from going in the good room and they're kind of scared to go in the good room without permission and if and if Wanda or Steven catches them in the good room without permission they'll get in big trouble <laughs> and I even put those uh, vanilla Max's lace curtains up because I thought oh yes gaudy perfect love it uh, this room over here as I mentioned I did turn into a small laundry um, I've got the sims 2 laundry mod thanks to fire love you fire and um, so I wanted this to be a little space for them to do their washing um, so I give them a washing machine I don't actually give them an electric dryer because this room was a bit small and I wanted to put a shelf in here rather than a dryer so I get that shelf which is from the uh, the mission bay uh, furniture set which is by Living Dead Girl on The Sims Resource and I go ahead and just rearrange it a little bit a few times but they yeah so they have a washing machine a sink a toilet they got some deco in here and then I end up putting a clothesline outside so they will have to dry their washing outside and in the winter I guess they'll have to pull out a clothes horse I wanted to put an ironing board in there too but it sadly didn't fit so we didn't end up doing that but yeah you can see I'm just um, decorating it with a little bit of like laundry detergent I got that really nice little soap holder um, I tried to fit an iron on the shelf as well quite a few times but it didn't end up fitting on the shelf so um, just playing around with the shift everything mod again yeah the iron was too tall for the shelves so I was like oh bugger um, but yeah you can kind of see it's it's cluttered up a little bit which I thought was nice we've got a little laundry basket in the corner too and then yeah so I'm like okay better give them a clothesline before I forget so that's just out the back there as you can see and then the living room is I yeah this is a room that I really wanted to be more heavily cluttered but I didn't end up having the money to clutter it up as much as I wanted to oh quick save good job tea addict don't lose your build I say I did save a few times but I didn't have any crashes so it was fine uh, but yeah so I put in the, a big heavy um, 
Oh yeah, that's right. I found this hallway stand. <laughs> Another Sims 4 to 2 conversion. I was like, oh, I want this in my hall, hall area. This looks very nice. So yeah, I go ahead and put that in there um, and rearrange where all the shoes are so they kind of fit a bit better, which you can see me doing here. Oh yeah, I had a slot on that little coffee table that was messing me up. <laughs> so I put a little slot blocker. But yeah, so I ended up finding a big heavy TV unit to put in here with this one, uh, which is from the beach house furniture set and put a TV in that. And then I thought this was really nice, very, very Tinkers. I just feel like the Tinkers have a lot of stuff. And so because they aren't necessarily untidy people, they need a lot of places to put stuff. So things with cupboards, thing with things with drawers um, and everything I wanted to have a lot of stuff on it. So I even put in a little TV remote there, as you can see, put in a little basket of cozies, uh, which is a four to two conversion as well. Some little pictures, all sorts of, yeah, little knickknacks and paddywhacks. But um, yeah, I sort of started to become conscious of the budget close to here. Oh yeah, I put in a Nintendo 64 and a Wii as well. <laughs> yeah, sort of starting to become conscious of the budget a little bit as I'm decorating this room. So there is definitely more opportunity for more clutter as we go through. But that's okay. And then yeah, just putting up some curtains and blinds because of course in the room with a TV, you've got to have good blinds because light reflecting on a TV that you're trying to watch is really annoying, I find, in my humble opinion. You know when you're like trying to watch a movie and yeah, it's like there's light reflecting on the screen and you can't see and it's just like, ugh, it's annoying. My, although most of what I watch on TV these days is just YouTube videos, <laughs> not gonna lie. Anyway, so for the couch, uh, the lounges, I went with uh, some Maxis lounges, pretty, pretty cheap. Uh, not, yeah, definitely not expensive lounges, but they do look very comfortable. I feel like these couches, yeah, they look old and comfy, well used, well loved and uh, not ones that you'd want to get rid of unless you absolutely had to. And then, yeah, I wanted to put in a big square coffee table, but I don't have a lot of big square coffee tables uh, apart from that one that you see there, which is from Parenthood. So I end up putting in two of these beach house uh, coffee tables just back to back and uh, yeah, to create a square, which I think looks nice. Uh, the coffee table is definitely something that I wanted to, f again, fill with clutter and I didn't end up doing it. So uh, that'll be something I, I try to come back and clutter later on. Gave them a bookcase, gave a little lazy chair, armchair there for Stephen, because I just imagine him to be a person who falls asleep in his armchair all the time. A uh, little side table, a little cup of tea, because why not? <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, I'm going through and just uh, going to play with some lighting in the house here just for a minute, um, which, you know, is pretty whatever. Yeah, so we ended up, we did end up selling like 90% of the furniture that the Tinkers originally had. I'm sure that's fine. <laughs> I just, I don't know. I feel like I completely reimagined this family compared to how Maxis originally intended them. Yeah, there I go selling the uh, the elect exercise equipment as well. Cause I'm like, oh, this can give me extra money for clutter. And I wanted to leave that room blank uh, for future kids. So when once they have a little bit more money um, and probably more kids will fill up that extra bedroom. Or, you know, I guess if Melody does fall on her face and have to move back home, then she could have that room. Uh, if need be. So yeah, here we are in the upstairs bathroom. Originally I was going to use the Shakealicious counters and then I remembered that I'd recently got this conversion from The Sims 4, which I love. This is the Magnolia bathroom. It was converted by Deathorella, I wanna say, and recolored by Sims in Low Space. Um, really, really nice bathroom counter. I love it. It doesn't have any slots on it, but that's fine because we have shift everything so I can just decorate anyway and I love that. Um, yeah, I really like that bathroom counter. It comes in that wide version and also in a, a slightly uh, less wide version, more narrow version. What's the word I'm looking for? One of those things. Uh, so yeah, really, really nice. Uh, lots of room for cluttering, lots of room for decor. And so that made me really happy. So I put in a couple towels. I also love that towel holder there uh, with the little love hearts on it. And it has like a matching toilet roll holder, as you see there, just a bit gaudy. <laughs> Again, was going for kind of a mixture of like cute, happy furniture and then kind of grandma furniture <laughs> as well, I guess. Uh, this house is a little bit grandma, but I love it. I don't know, this house, I wanted this house to look and feel comfortable uh well well used well loved and just yeah very comfortable but also like if you were a teenager inviting your boyfriend over for, for the first time you might be a bit embarrassed by all of the sort of lovey dovey cutesy wootsy furniture 
that's around. Does that make sense? I don't know. You guys will have to leave me a comment and let me know if you think I nailed the nailed that vibe. Uh, I think I did pretty well. But yeah, so I originally was going with uh, these green towels. I ended up deciding to recolor both that bathroom vanity and the towels. So the towels, towels pick up that peachy salmon-y color and the vanity has the uh, teal. And then I was going to put a picture above the bathtub and I got distracted thinking, oh, toys. And I decided to put some toys on the side of the bath because I thought that was a cute touch. Um, and then I forgot to put a picture. So whatever. But yeah, so now we're in Friedrich's room. Friedrich's actually not too far away from becoming a teenager at this point. But uh, he is a kid who loves space, as uh, we can tell by his big space mural. So I gave him a bedspread that had aliens on it because I thought that would be cute. Um, and I guess when he's a teenager, what we'll do is maybe like get him to try to cover up his embarrassing mural with posters <laughs> if he's still interested in his face I don't know but yeah I ended up going with kind of that uh, teal green color for a lot of his furniture which I thought was very bright and fun I was tempted to go all black but again just challenging myself these days to use more color when I'm building and decorating so I did that and then this little nursery this is pretty basic honestly uh, it has the crib and the change table um and I, I chuck a, a couple more bits and pieces in there, but not much. I also put a little baby bouncer downstairs in the living room for the babies as well. Uh, <laughs> having a having a two month old kid in my house, I can tell you guys that when you have a baby, there's just baby stuff everywhere. <laughs> it just overtakes your entire house, particularly like spots to put the baby. You need spots in every room to put the baby. So ba baby bounces, baby swings, high chairs, all those kinds of things. Baby mats on the floor. Uh, yeah, really good. And I also gave this room very dark curtains, you'll see there, because when baby is napping during the day, you want that room dark. <laughs> oh, and now we have room in the bathroom for the potty, which is nice. But yeah, so I, I decorate this room with a little armchair for breastfeeding and a little bookcase and little baskets uh, for, you know, the baby books and the blankets and stuff. And that's pretty much it. And then on to Wanda and Steven's room. This room is just massive. Oh my goodness. I shrunk it by a couple of tiles and it was still freaking humongous. So um, this room, it does feel a little sparse, which makes me upset because I was going for such a cluttered, homey, lived-in vibe with this house. So I, I do my best with it, but it is, it is, it's just a big room. <laughs> so I'll have a think about what other furniture I might want to put in their room. Maybe just some more uh, chests of drawers, more cabinets, more uh, cupboards for more clothes, maybe. Um, but yeah, so I, I do a build your own bed for their bed uh, with a separate base and bed head and decorate it with that beautiful big bedspread from the Rhodium set, which Varunka also converted. More beach, beach house furniture for the side tables, which I thought were, was very nice. And uh, then, yeah, so I'm like, what do I do with all this space? And I wanted, I thought about putting in some built-in wardrobes, but I honestly didn't have the money for it. And then I was like... Um, worried that it would take up too much of the room so I end up instead putting in this big built-in set which I've used before I used to actually in my goth manor renovation um, and this was converted by beautiful nerd kitty from the sims 4 uh, into the sims 2 and is really nice I think I think it's functional maybe part of it is functional as an actual wardrobe maybe um, but yeah, so I put that in there along that big wall. Oh, and I put an exercise ball in here as well, because again, after having a baby, um, and I want Wanda to be, you know, a big mama, uh, you, you want to have a birth ball. <laughs> you want to have an exercise ball so you can sit on that bad boy and bounce your baby all the way out. <laughs> Anywho, then I found these posters and I decided to put them up in Friedrich's room. I was kind of hoping to decorate that wall with a painting but I kept getting distracted so yeah then now just putting in some clothing clutter into this wardrobe uh, again I was starting to run a bit low on money so I struggled a bit to fill it up uh, but I ended up filling it up with a bunch of shoes and a couple of piles of sweaters as well and that's pretty much it I also thought that tie just hanging off one of the knobs was a nice touch uh, and then yeah back to back to trying to pick out a painting for this wall I'm running really low on money here you can't see but I think I've only got a couple hundred simoleons left at this point so I do end up putting up two buggy boos frames uh, and picking out a couple of cute little like bird style recolors like little bird cage and little birdies which I thought was quite cute and that's pretty much it the backyard I don't do a lot with I do just paint the the old uh 
Tinker's toy shed there, which I do still want to have them making toys in that shed eventually, but right now it's just an empty shed. Um, I put in a little bit of landscaping, but not too much, because again, I was just starting to run really low on money. So I actually sold off the trees that were here and replaced it with uh, cheaper trees just to save a little bit of money. I do a little bit of terrain painting. I put in a breadfruit tree. And that's pretty much it. So in a moment, we are gonna jump into some screenshots of the lot. Once again, I forgot to take before photos because I always forget to take before photos, but I hope you all enjoy looking at the after photos. Uh, the front yard, by the way, I just put in some, some hedges along the front here. So let's jump into the screenshots. So that is the front of the lot. Um, I do love the yellow. I think yellow is, is very tinkers, very, and the, yeah, offset by the darkness of the garage, I think looks good. The main uh, dining and kitchen space with all of my crazy amounts of clutter. Still, like, I'm really happy with how that, how that kitchen turned out. Um, and I feel like that's a really warm and welcoming and, and fun room. Uh, that's the good room <laughs> with all its heavy, gaudy furniture. Absolutely love it. <laughs> Just turned out, yeah, turned out really, really well and their living room. Uh, this definitely needs some more, yeah, clutter on the coffee table and more paintings on the walls. So that is something we'll try to do as we get a little bit more money with this family. Uh, here's the laundry, looking quite cute. Uh, that little upstairs learning area also still needs more stuff, but that'll be sort of a play area for the kids. Uh, Friedrich's room, someone's already managed to get a toy boat out and leave it on the floor, very good. And then we have the nursery, which is very cute. I do like the polka dot wallpaper and the little bumblebees on the thing. And then, yeah, so that's what the bedroom looked like. Uh, and then I decided to go ahead and redecorate it and make it look like that. <laughs> so a very fun, uh, still in keeping with the color palette wallpaper. Um, it, I thought it just looked 10 times better than that green. Uh, the backyard, very simple, very plain, very just, yeah, is what it is. But I did put a little terrain paint path out to the shed. And uh, that's it. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this renovation of the Tinker Lot. And I hope that you are excited to get back into Pleasant View very soon. I promise we will get back into gameplay at some point in my life. It's just not going to happen just yet because uh, I still have a lot of renovating to do. Uh, but if you do want to see more gameplay again, check out my Twitch channel. It's linked below. We have a lot of fun and I play The Sims 2 frequently on my Twitch channel. Um, and I do upload the VODs when I can to the VOD channel, but I've been a bit lazy with that. So sorry they will be coming out eventually. But if you like this video, don't forget to leave a like, uh, leave any comments, thoughts, suggestions, feedback down below. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. Everybody take care. Have a wonderful week. I hope that you're all well and I will see you next time. Goodbye for now.